When we talk about academic integrity, I think it's really important to bear in mind that we're all part of an academic community. And within that academic community, we are sharing and developing new ideas. But we don't always just do that based on what we know or what we think we know. So you'll be learning things in your sessions, you'll be learning things with your tutors, you'll be questioning and challenging ideas and theories all the time, but those will be the ideas and theories usually of other people. So the, the importance of academic integrity is about you building your knowledge and understanding based on referencing and giving the appropriate accolade to those people who first of all came up with those ideas. I remember when I got my first assignment and it was for a critical theory module and so it's quite intense as you can imagine looking at all these different ideas. Initially I did struggle with different um, theoretical frameworks, I didn't understand how I could sort of use that in my own writing, it was just beyond me coming fresh from A levels and so I did struggle and I had various meetings with my tutor. Um, but she assured me that, you know, be confident in your voice, you have a voice and that needs to come through in your writing and that's a piece of advice that really stuck out to me um, and it helped me to refine my arguments and to really find, okay, what's my angle of this uh, theme, what's my angle of this issue, how can I use other people's ideas to frame my own arguments. The whole concept of academic integrity can seem quite daunting at first, kind of be quite complicated for, particularly for new students. But in fact, it's, it's quite straightforward and its principles have been at the heart of research and university life probably for hundreds of years. Using secondary sources is a crucial part of university essays and assignments. So it's really important that you use writing from other people, so other critics, academics, philosophers, people in the field, to back up your points. You can't state something without having any evidence. So even if it's loosely connected, it's best to use the critic or the textbook or the journal article. And then that will enable you to develop on that. So you might um, contradict it, you might argue you against it or you might actually argue in favour for it. The ultimate aim of a science student should be a becoming a successful scientist and if you, if you wanted to become a successful scientist that all the successful scientists they use other people's work, they use other people's information but that is not a sin, it's a good practice. They are not only justifying their scientific invention but also giving the credit and they're giving the uh, acknowledgement from, uh, to the other scientists or other people who have contributed or they have borrowed information from. The accounting um, profession, is, it has its own professional identity and it has got lots of competencies around it, part of which are professional identity and integrity. And part of that is students being able to articulate their discipline. And they can only do that if they've delved into the subject matter, they've researched it, they've looked at different perspectives, they've critically analysed um, and take, taken what other people have done and taken other research and pulled it apart and made sense of it in their own way you know, and in their, to reflect their understanding um, and that's where it's important for them to have their academic voice. Referencing is not as scary as it seems at first. Most students get really intimidated by referencing and they really, really worry about you know, getting caught cheating or getting accused of cheating or missing off a reference and being told that they've copied something. Um, and referencing is fiddly, I'm not going to deny that, but it's not as difficult as people think at first. There's a lot of guidance, there's a lot of help available. Um, the library has subject librarians, study skills teams, so if students are really, really struggling with referencing or even if they just want someone to help them get started, come and ask for help.